Hi, uh, welcome to Innovation Electronics. So in this video, I'm going to explain IoT based transmission line fault monitoring system. So in this project, we can easily monitor the transmission line fault. So here you can here you can see three phase line. Uh, actually, I used four three pole here, pole one, pole two, and pole three. And also I used three phase. First, first one is R phase, and this is the Y phase, and this is the B phase. Okay. So here we can monitor two kind of fault. First type is open circuit fault open circuit means if any phase is open the system will automatically identify and is sending the data to the app which means if our phase is open the system will automatically identify and is sending data to the app in order to our phase is open and also the system having inbuilt lcd display and uh, led also if fault which kind of fault occurred we can easily monitor the using lcd also and also the system will identify this uh, which kind of fault occurred by using led for example if our face is open the red led also getting on if y face is open yellow is on and uh, b face is open a uh, blue is on okay fine before uh, turn on the project you have to give wi-fi connection to the kit because this is iot based project so the system need wi-fi connection okay so here i used the blink app you can see here this is the blink app transmission line fault monitoring system you have to note one thing that is offline offline means now uh, kit is off state off state means there is no power so it's showing offline before turn on the project which means before turn on the power you have to turn on your mobile hotspot and as well as data also then only the node mc will automatically connect your phone uh, then the app become online okay which means the system record internet connection you have to give internet connection by using hotspot okay fine i'm going to turn on the project okay fine the project is turned on within few seconds the system automatically going to connect okay if it connected now now you can see here, there is no offline which means the system comes online okay i'm going to open the app so you can see here transmission fault monitoring system you can see fault monitoring which means the system monitoring the fault status if any fault occurred the system will automatically sending notification here okay fine uh, now i'm going to make one fault manually that is a open face um, this is our face i'm going to open our face okay you can see here our face is open so the red led also go red led is going to denoting and also we can get the notification also so we have to wait few seconds in order to receive the notification so you can see here our face is open wait fault monitoring so our face is open you can see here our face is open okay fine so this way we can easily monitor our face is open the same data we can uh, see in our lc display also okay i'm going to close the our face now i'm going to open b face this is a b face okay if b face is open the blue led will turn on you can see the display also b face is open and also we can get the same notification in app also b face is open okay fine uh, now and also we can receive notification also here you can see that notification so first of all this our face is open so this kind of notification also we can receive our face is open within few seconds we received the b face also fine uh, now i'm going to close the b face if face if the fault is solved there is no indication okay uh, we have to make a completer then okay fine there is no fault the system keeps silent okay fine and now i'm going to i'm going to make short circuit r face and y face this is the y face and i am going to make short circuit in ry you can see here ry short circuit red led yellow led is going on you can see the same data in app also rp yp sc fault means nothing sc is a short circuit r phase y phase short circuit okay okay fine and i am going to make y phase and b phase also you can see here y phase b phase means yellow and uh, blue it's getting on you can see the same data in app also you can see here y face and b face you have to make it tightly okay fine you can see the app y face and b face sc fault which means short circuit and i'm going to make 
so we i'm going to make r phase and the b phase also i'm going to make r phase this is the b phase and this is the r phase you can see here r phase and b phase short circuit the led also getting denoting you can receive the data also r phase and b phase sc fault okay fine so this way we can easily monitor the fault status okay fine now i'm going to explain what are the component used and one, one more thing uh, we can easily monitor the location also okay fine i'm going to go show the location here location i used the uh, adapt root site okay fine i'm going to show you so dashboard okay you have to click the light track okay you can see the map here okay so i used two kind of map i'm going to open the map in close up also so actually this is our office location okay so this blue point okay this blue point denoting live location you can see here it's not visible now you can see here also so this is the blue point you can see the one blue point here so this is the blue point which is denoting the where is the fault is occurred you, you can now simply see that blue point in vilupram okay vilupram is our office location current location that's why it's showing so this is also street light map you can see the blue point here i think this camera is not visible uh, if you see in uh, directly now you can easily track the location okay i think you, now you can see the location blue point this is a maximum point okay fine and also we can get some reference data also reference data is nothing when the system is getting online you know, the reference data will automatically getting increment initially it's showing zero each and every one minute it will automatically getting increment okay fine okay now i'm going to explain the component detail what are the component i used here so this is the arduino uno okay this is the arduino uno and this is the gps module which is used to track the location and this is a node mcu this node actually in this project i used two node mcu one node mcu for sending data through the cloud uh, in order to which kind of fault occurred for blink server and another one node mcu which is used to send the live location in adapt root site okay so these are the pcb general pcb i used three led here and also i used some regulators in order to provide required voltage to uh, required component which means here i am taking 12 volt adapter so this lcd and i2c model also required 5 volt only so i used this uh, three regulator in order to make 12 volt into 5 volt power supply okay and this is also a resistor which is used to voltage divide circuit because here we are going to give analog signal only this kind of analog signal we are using for reference voltage in order to find the short circuit okay fine so thank you for watching if you have any doubt regarding in this project you can contact our office number thank you